blessed people. Today is December 4th, the year 2019, and uh, I just want to revisit with the big, big visitation that took place yesterday, the visitation in which the Lord Jehovah took me up above the earth into heaven, and then he showed me down the earth the big meeting taking place, and I saw the two olive trees. And he told me to look at the two olive trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth, the mighty, mighty, mighty olive trees, very mighty, and they rise, they tower beyond the earth. They tower above everything else, and they come and reach heaven. They tower very high beyond the earth. The two olive trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth, this is a very pivotal conversation. It's a conversation that becomes the turning point in the history of the earth and the church. In other words, the Lord saying that look, the two olive trees, the mighty mega olive trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth, they are already on the earth. So the conversation is a very big conversation. It's a very mighty conversation. It's a shocking, it's an awakening conversation that the Lord is having with the church, saying that, look, the two mighty mega olive trees, the one that stand before the Lord of all the earth, are already on the earth. They are already on the earth. And so that should be such a time awakening, awakening to the nation. It should speak so much about time. The Lord is talking about the time that we have entered into at this time as the nations of the earth. The time that the church has now tumbled into, walked into, entered into. And so that is a very, very historic conversation the Lord has with the church right now. He is having with the church. That the Lord can lift me up above the earth into heaven and then show me the earth and show me the two olive trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth. And those holy trees tower significantly higher than the entire earth and higher than the universe itself, higher than through the planets, all the way beyond the universe. And they reach to the Lord. That means the Lord is saying that the two holy trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth that were long prophesied, that have been prophesied for a very long time, Long time in waiting. Then the nations of the earth have been waiting for a very, very long time. When the two olive trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth would finally appear into the landscape, the Bible landscape, appear onto the earth, onto the face of the earth, the surface of the earth, and begin to give witness, begin to give testimony of Jehovah Elohim the testimony of the Lord. And so this speaks about a very, very important time in the history of the church. It talks about time. The first aspect is time. But finally they are here. The Lord is announcing that the two holy trees, the ones that prepared the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah, are finally here. And that should really act as a wake-up call to the church. But when you read the book of Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 4, he says, the angel who talked with me returned and woke me up like someone awakened from sleep. And he asked me, what do you see? I answered, I see a solid gold lampstand with a bowl on top and seven lamps on it with seven channels to the lamp. Also, there are two olive trees by it, one on the right of the bowl, and the other on its left. I asked the angel who talked with me, who are these, my Lord? He answered, do you not know what these are? No, my Lord, I replied. So he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, 
or by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. So right away you can tell the force, the authority that is propelling, that is navigating the two olive trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth right there. He says, not by might, nor by power, but my spirit, the spirit of the Lord, says the Lord Almighty. Verse 7 of Zechariah chapter 4, says, What are you, mighty mountain, before Zerubbabel? You will become leveled to the ground. The other version says you will be brought down. You will become level ground. Then bring out the capstone to shout of God bless it. God bless it. Then the word of the Lord came to me. The hand of the Rubabel have laid the foundation of this temple. His hand will also complete it. Then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. Verse 10. Who dare despise the day of small things. Since the seven eyes of the Lord that range throughout the earth will rejoice when they see the chosen captain in the hand of Zerubbabel. Verse 11. Then I asked the angel, what are these two olive trees on the right and on the left of the last ten? He says, again, I asked him, verse 12, what are these two olive branches beside the two gold pipes that pour out golden oil? Verse 13, he replied, do you not know what these are? No, my Lord, I say, verse 14. So he said, these are the two who are anointed to serve the Lord of all the earth, to stand before the Lord of all the earth. And so you see very clearly that the Lord has had a very serious conversation with the church, with the nations, with the earth. He's saying the olive oil is passing from the olive trees to the lampstand. He's saying the olive oil is passing from the olive trees to the lampstand. And if you read the book of Revelation chapter 1, verse 20, then you see the following. He says, the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and of the seven gold lampstands is this. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. So you see very clearly that the olive oil is pouring, is passing from the two olive trees that stand before the Lord, and the olive oil is passing to the golden lampstands. And in Revelation chapter 1, Verse 20, you see that the last stand in this case does represent the church. That's why the oil is passing to the last stand. They are standing before the Lord, but they are feeding the church. The olive trees feed the church continually with the word, with the spirit of the Lord. So that means these are entities that are authorized and empowered by God the Father himself. These are agencies. They are two major agencies. They are agents of God the Father, agents of the throne of God. They are entities. They are authorities of God that God has authorized God the Father himself to feed the church with the word and to feed the church with the spirit of the Lord and to feed the church with the workings of the Spirit, the wonders and the miracles in order to bring the life of the Spirit of the Lord into the church. The olive trees that the Lord showed me in this tremendous conversation of this hour 
are these two messengers of God the Father himself, the ancient prophets of the Lord. They are the ancient prophets of God, through whom God has now inspired the church through big visitations, mighty visitations, through whom now God has brought his word and his mega visitation into the church. And that reminds you very much of the tabernacle that was set up by one of these two. That inside the tabernacle, it was very conspicuous that the two witnesses were well represented. Inside the tabernacle of worship, the two witnesses, the two holy priests, two witnesses of the Lord God were well represented inside the tabernacle of God. The tabernacle that one of the two raised. The one that is now walking with the glorious body, the eternal body, the immortal body. And they provide. So the two olive trees, the two witnesses that stand before the Lord of all the earth, they provide the testimony of God the Father himself, the testimony of the Godhead. They are the beholders of the testimony of the Godhead. So they are empowered by God the Father himself. And they give his testimony. And that's why you see the cloud comes all the way from heaven through the sun and settles on them, because they are testifying on God's behalf. They behold his name. They behold the name of God the Father. They behold the authority of God the Father. They behold the power of God the Father. They behold the tremendous glory of God the Father. And so, when you see now that there are two olive trees and two golden lampstands in the setup that was constructed, it also means that the two witnesses have a dual nature. They have two natures, each of them. Each of the two witnesses has two natures. The book of Revelation chapter 11, Revelation chapter 11, verse 3 and verse 6. Revelation chapter 11, verse 3 says, And I will appoint my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. Verse 6 says, they have the power to shut up the heaven so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying. And they have the power to turn the water into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. So you see, they have the dual nature. Each of the two prophets, they are two already. But each of them has the dual nature. That is what the Lord is saying now. One, each of them represents the law and the prophet. Because you see, the act of shutting up the heaven essentially belongs to the prophet. To the prophet Elijah. The act of striking the earth, turning the water into blood, and striking the earth with plague belongs to the mega prophet Moses. So the two mega prophets. So each of them has a dual nature. Each of them has two identities. And so the two olive trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth represent the law and the prophet Elijah. The law and the prophet. And the two golden lampstands, they represent the old covenant church and the New Testament church. Again, Israel and the New Testament church. This is a very powerful moment in the church. It says the two golden lampstands, the two holy trees you have seen, have now the dual nature. They, they are God's nature. They carry the nature, they carry the attributes of the Trinity, the attributes of the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And so the two golden lampstands essentially represent that you see in the tabernacle, they represented the old covenant church and the New Testament church that is preparing for us now. And the connection, that's why their mission, that's why their mission is both to the Gentile church and to Israel, the old covenant church, to update her, to bring her back to the new covenant as it is written in the book of Romans chapter 11 that he will deal with them according to the covenant with the patriarch and bring them to the knowledge of the Christ. 
And all churches must be connected to the two prophets, the two holy priests that stand before the Lord of all the earth, are connected to the two churches. They must feed the oil into the two churches. As they minister before the Lord of all the earth, he says, the book of John 15, he says, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that they give bear even more fruit, be even more fruitful. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, verse 5, and I in you, you'll bear much fruit. And apart from me, you can do nothing. That's why you see now, they are feeding both the Old Testament church in Israel and the New Testament church. And during this phase of their mission, they are feeding the New Testament church preparing for Africa. In other words, feeding the Spirit of the Lord. The oil that you see flowing from the Holy Spirit into the lamp stand is the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of Christ. The life of God that Christ brought. So that when the church that belongs to them the church that will connect to them and listen to them will have the life of Christ into her main stream. And then she will see eternity. After which they have the second mission to go and feed Israel with the Spirit of the Lord and reveal Christ to Israel and draw them to Christ the Messiah, HaMessiah. Yeshua HaMessiah. The Messiah is coming. This is a mega conversation that will be spoken until the Messiah arrives. That God has now announced that the two holy priests from heaven, he showed me the earth, and I saw the two holy priests standing very straight. They are very straight. There are many issues there. There are many important points there. The fact that they are very straight talks about their right standing before the Lord. Their straightness before the Lord. Their right positioning on righteousness. Their holiness before God, the Messiah is coming. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, ye the nations of the earth. The King is coming. The two holy trees that stand before the Lord of all the earth, they are already upon the face of the earth. They are ministering and announcing the coming of the Messiah. Tada shalom, yom tov haverim. Be holy, for without holiness you will not see the Messiah. You will not see the Lord. Turn away from sexual sin. If there is one sin you should prioritize to turn away from is sexual immorality, sexual love, and sexual sin. And turn away from lying, perversion, false prophets, false apostles, false gospel, modern gospel, liberal theology, that you may enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom of of God that the Lord has shown me is for the righteous. I saw only those that were holy and glorious entering that kingdom. So make sure you prepare because there is hell waiting. Prepare and enter the glorious kingdom of God. To the Ashel of Thank you.